I do not know who in this vast audience today may need to hear the message of forgiveness inherent in this parable. But however late you think you are, however many chances you think you've missed, however many mistakes you feel you've made, or talents you think you don't have, or distance from home and family and God you feel you have traveled, I testify that you have not traveled beyond the reach of divine love. It is not possible for you to sink lower than the infinite light of Christ's atonement shines. Whether you are not yet of our faith, or were once with us and have not remained, there is nothing in either case you have done that cannot be undone. There is no problem which you cannot overcome. There is no dream that in the unfolding of time and eternity cannot yet be realized. Even if you feel you are the lost and last laborer of the eleventh hour, the Lord of the vineyard still stands beckoning. Come boldly to the throne of grace and fall at the feet of the Holy One of Israel. Come and feast without money and without price at the table of the Lord. My beloved brothers and sisters, to those of you who've been blessed by the gospel for many years because you were fortunate enough to find it early, and to those of you who've come to the gospel by stages and phases later, and finally, to those of you, member or not yet member, who may still be hanging back, to each of you, one and all, I testify of the renewing power of God's love and the miracle of His grace. His concern is for the faith at which you finally arrive, not the hour of the day in which you got there. So if you've made covenants, keep them. If you haven't made them, make them. If you've made them and broken them, repent and repair them. It is never too late, so long as the master of the vineyard says there is time. Please listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit telling you right now, this very moment, that you should accept the atoning gift of the Lord Jesus Christ and enjoy the fellowship of His labor. Don't delay. It's getting late.